Hello. Welcome to Boxing with Uncle Robert. Tonight I want to talk about finding the right style and technique that you're comfortable with that works best for you. Now boxing is very subjective, meaning it's based on a lot of people's opinions, their point of view, the way one person sees the fight compared to another. The only thing objective about boxing is a knockout. And when someone's knocked out cold, you get hit, you go down, the referee counts to 10, but you're out. That's concrete. That, that's the plot. Nothing could be debated about that. A TKO when a referee stops the fight, that can be debated. People would say, hey, wait, my fighter, he could have came back. He wasn't really out of it. He could have recovered and came back in that fight. That's one person's point of view. The referee says, no, I was trying to protect him. I thought he was out on his feet. So we have conflict here of opinion. Another reason it is you'll see that people watching a fight together with your friend. Your friend thinks that fighter A won. He was the aggressor. You see it as fighter B won. He was a better boxer. The ringside referees say, call it a draw. Now you got all these conflicting ways people saw it. It's all subjective. Some trainers believe that when you throw a left jab, you got to step forward and come back with your left foot or with your southpaw. Other trainers don't believe that, but it's two different opinions of how this should be done based on their experience. What's right, what's wrong? Who knows? It works for them. Might work for you. Boxing styles. Let's take Kevin Rooney, for example. He worked with Mike Tyson, taught him the uh, custom model system of bobbing and weaving, coming back with the punches. We know how successful Tyson was with that style. They split up, Rooney and Tyson. Rooney still had a stable. One guy he was training with the custom model style was Rick Miles. Rick Myers from Jersey, who was junior welterweight, maybe. Now, this style worked good for Myers for the first 15, 20 fights. He was able to finish his opponents. As he moved up in competition with better boxers, they figured that out. It didn't work because that weight class, they just don't hit as hard as heavyweight. So it's not the best style at all. So it didn't really bring success for Myers. So what was good for Tyson, his style, wasn't good for another fighter, Myers. And the same thing in the gym. If you're not comfortable with the boxing style you're doing, you're competing with, talk to your trainer. Have a sit down with him. Say, this, is, this does not work right. You have to have an open mind and talk together and meet in the middle. Because when you're in the ring, you can't take nobody with you. You're on your own. So it's got to be right for you. And communication is definitely the key. Like I say in all my videos at the end, this worked for me, this technique. I hope it works for you. But I'm not saying it's the only technique. It's merely a suggestion. And until next time, this is Uncle Robert. Thank you.